Hey guys, and welcome to the next video in my RS3 Money Makers. In this video, we are going to be using the skill Archaeology. Now, Archaeology has a chance to make GP through the use of sifting soils. Recently, the Lunar Spellbook has had an update where you can sift soil through the use of the Lunar Magics, and that is what we're going to be doing today. The spell requires one Astral Rune, five Earth, and ten Waters. Now, if you use a Elemental Battle Staff or a Mud Battle Staff, it means all you need is one astral rune per one gravel or soil which you're looking to sift so we're going to try a sample size of 1000 ancient gravels and we're going to also do the zamrak and armadil gravels as well just to check the profits for both sets and um, basically i'm going to leave my material crates empty and we can see what loot we can get from there so all in for 1000 soil spells it will be a total of 1.9 mil so let's get cracking and let's see if uh, this is any good for gp in terms of the setup, I'm just using my Archaeologist Master Outfit along with the 120 cape. Now, the 120 cape is the best one to use, although the 99 cape will still work to make sure you have a better chance of sifting materials out from the soils. To also help as well, you can be using a familiar, which is the Water Fiend. The Water Fiend gives you a 5% chance of finding materials, and I'll get one summoned now, and we can get started. So, preset setup, uh, Water Fiend has been summoned. Uh, so, click the Sif Source spell, and then it's 27 actions per thing. You also get Archaeology XP as well as Mage XP as well, and it's actually quite chilled and quite laid back as well. And basically, what you're going to get is from these gravels and sifting the soil, you're going to get materials in. And hopefully the materials you're getting is more expensive than the Astral Rune and the soil together. And as you just saw there, the Water Fiend also got um, a material which we will bank every time we get uh, a preset. So 120 is definitely a better chance of doing this as well, but 99 can definitely make profit. And it's a pretty much AFK way to train mage and do a little bit of Archaeology XP if you want to. When I've definitely got the accounts set up for Lunars on the Noob, I, I will definitely be doing this as well because it is very beneficial by the look of it to make some quick money. Shifting soil has always been decent profit ever since the early days of archaeology, so um, I'm pretty much expecting a decent amount of GP to be made from this. You can also use uh, some of the elves to bank it directly to your uh, material bank as well, um, and also use a premier artifact to make that a bit cheaper. But for me personally, I can just um, use them in this setup and just bank, um, bank all the materials. By banking the materials, you're saving the money of the portals, which can add up a little bit, and it's only going to eat into your profits. And because you're just going to be banking it direct anyway, it's no real issue um, just continuously just banking the materials. But looking at this as well, the success rate is very high, which I think might be something to do with 120 cape. Once the new account is sort of set up with Lunar Spells, and it's roughly 99, I'll make sure to be trying it on there as well, because this will be a decent way to make some more money. And if you want something to AFK as well, it seems pretty chill. Um, you could definitely do something alongside playing another account. So that's pretty much Ancient Gravel. I'm going to finish this 1k and uh, we'll see how much we've made toward the end. I didn't realise this could be a thing, but I also found a damaged artifact as well. Which is not too bad. I'm 200 mil arc, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, if you weren't 200 mil arc, or if you still have some more arc XP to get, you have a chance to find an artifact as well. Um, I'm sort of flying through these now and the Water Fiend is actually doing a lot more work than I thought it would. It's uh, getting a lot more items um, than I thought it, I thought it wouldn't be worth the price of the pouch. It actually is. Um, and in terms of gravel so far, we have got another 361 to do. So I'm going to finish that and then we'll go on to the final price check. So it probably took me 15 minutes to finish all of them. And that wasn't too bad at all. So let's have a price check of all these items. I got two artifacts on that as well, which I weren't expecting to get. So I think it was just under 2 mil for the runes and the soil and we made a total of 3.4 mil so we've just made just under 1.5 mil from 15 minutes work the wiki does say it's over 7 mil an hour with ancient gravel which looking at that you definitely can be sort of that range of profits which isn't too bad for something which is pretty afk and it's a nice bank standing skill as well if you're not feeling like doing anything too interactive with the game um, that is pretty decent. So I'm going to throw these into my cash and I'm going to give the Zami and the armor one a try as well and I'll come back with an update of profit for them as well. Right, so that is the end of the armor. So that was the end of the armor soil. I only got one artifact from that one, which was a Blackfire Lance. Um, to be fair, the artifacts I've got have been pretty decent XP. They're not any of the entry level ones. Um, and I seem to have got like a lot of the higher tier stuff with the Armadil um, soil as well. So let's price check that. That is 3.7 mil. In terms of cost for Armadil, it was very similar to the Ancient Gravel. You're looking just under 2 mil for the soil and for the Astral Rune. But yeah, that's 1.6 to 1.7 mil profit just for a K. And again, it's looking like every 15 minutes you can clear 1K soil as well. 
For the final one I'm going to do is Zami. Um, see if that's going to be roughly the same as well. Uh, and I'll come back with the results of Zami. I'll come back with the results of Zami soil and uh, hopefully I'll have a rough time of how long that takes as well. So this is the final invo of the Zami soil. Um, and that is pretty much all three done. Got two artifacts in that time, um, which wasn't too bad. So if I take all these out, and what I've noticed between the three sets is very consistent with how much you're going to make. So 4.3, so Zami out of three was the most profitable. Um, again, it was roughly just under 200 mil for the soil and for the runes. So we made 2.3 from that in 15 minutes, which um, can hit 8 mil an hour if you were consistent and if you were quick or quicker than me doing that as well. So I just wanted to show you this money making method because in terms of something you can just do bank standing um, and just do something while watching the TV show or watching something on the side, it's actually pretty good. Like I said, the 120 cape does mean I've got the best results. The 99 cape means you might have slightly worse results than this, but you still will make money from sifting soils. And if you've got things to train like magic or archaeology, it will get XP in both of those skills at the same time as well. And not only that, you will get a chance of being able to loot some artifacts, which the ones I've got were all pretty decent XP. So that could link to some more bonus arc XP if you didn't need it as well. So that's pretty much the money making method for archaeology. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm definitely coming with some more money making guides relating to what's on the wiki currently. Um, just to show all the odd and different money makers currently available in RS3 to make as much profit as possible for your account. So hope you've enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video very, very soon.